Today, we're gonna up your alert game. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, we are getting back into the templates and tutorials, and we're doing some work in Photoshop for your alerts. Now, alerts can scare a lot of new streamers because they're not really sure how they work or what to do. A lot of people go out and pay a lot of money right away to have people make super awesome custom animated alerts, and then the other end of the spectrum, a lot of people just upload a GIF to Streamlabs and then just have text underneath it, and it ends up looking very amateur. But there's an awesome middle ground that you can do without spending any money with just a couple minutes inside of Photoshop and Streamlabs to get some awesome looking alerts that can last you a long time as you're grinding your Twitch channel up and you have to spend no money. And it looks a lot better than just having a GIF thrown up on the screen with some text underneath it. So we're gonna jump into Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to quickly make an awesome looking alert and then we're gonna apply it into Streamlabs. And then I'm also gonna provide the Photoshop document that we make here in this video so that if you guys don't wanna make your own little alert box, you can just pull this one from the link in the description, change your colors, bring it into Streamlabs and have some awesome alerts immediately. So without further ado, let's get right into Photoshop. All right guys, so here we are in Photoshop and to get started with creating alerts, I've just created a new blank workspace here. It is 1920 by 1080, but the size doesn't matter too much. I just created a workspace that's the size of regular video. So we're just gonna create a quick rectangle by selecting the rectangle tool and dragging. We're just gonna make an alert box that's kind of about that big right there. Now this color does not matter because we're gonna be changing it in a different way. Um, if you do want a solid color, you can definitely change it right up here. But what we wanna do is I wanna come down here and select these two colors and make them my Bravity color. So that is already the Bravity blue right there in this first one, then we're gonna select the secondary color down here and we're gonna select kind of the Bravity purple. I'm not gonna get super close. I do have a set purple for my channel, but I'm just gonna get kind of close for this tutorial. So there we go, we got the two Bravity colors down here. So now if we get on here and double click on the layer, we can go to gradient overlay, not color overlay, gradient overlay, and you'll see we've got the Bravity colors applied to the gradient and you can mess around with the opacity of this. I would normally keep it at 100. You can set the angle, but I like the angle to be in this general area like that to where it kind of gradients across diagonally. And then you can adjust the scale. You can have it just like a sharp, like just change of color like that, or you can have it fade quite a bit. And I like it to fade quite a bit just like that. And then we're gonna add a stroke to the outside of this. A stroke in Photoshop is an outline. So I wanna add a white outline to it. So if I just select a stroke right here, you'll see it actually already applies it because I've done this before, but you can set the color of your stroke. So if it was red already, you just wanna set it to white or whatever color you want. And then you can mess around with the scale of it. It's going on the inside right now. So you see it's like taking away from the inside of the box. And that's cause it's set to inside right here. You can set it to outside and then we get an outside um, stroke just like that. I'm gonna set it to inside. I like the harsh, um, sharp corner you get when you do an inside stroke. So we're gonna set it to about 10 or nine. Yeah, right about there. And then we're gonna hit okay. So now I'm gonna turn on this gray background because I just like to have a gray background behind me. The transparent kind of makes it hard to see the white outline. So we're gonna turn on a gray background and you'll see this is what our alert box is looking like right now. So next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add some details to the corners. So we're gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw another little box that's just kind of nice stubby fat box just like that. And we're gonna change the color to the Bravity Purple. And you can change these to whatever you want just like that. And then I'm gonna come down here on the rectangle that we just created and just hit duplicate layer, hit okay. And on the duplicate, we're gonna go up here to edit, transform and rotate clockwise 90 degrees. So then we can take it down here, it'll snap into place and we've created ourselves an awesome little corner bracket thing. We can select the two layers that we just used to create this corner bracket just by holding down shift and selecting both of them, right click and hit merge shapes. And we can name this whatever we want. We could name it corner, but I'm gonna leave it unnamed for now. And then you can just go here and you can place a corner just like that, make it look kind of nice. And then you just wanna select the, the two merge shapes that you just did right there, duplicate those. So we're gonna duplicate them and then just do what you did before. Go ahead and hit transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and then you can put it over on this side and you'll see it'll snap into place just like that, but you might need to adjust it in this direction. And then you just repeat the process, keep adding the corner details to the other two corners and you're done. You have an awesome static alert. You'll see I already created it here. It's just a basic 
box with a couple details around it and it was super easy to make it just took me a couple minutes inside of Photoshop but now we're gonna export this out and I'm gonna show you how you can add some awesome animations to this inside of Streamlabs you don't need the super crazy animations you definitely want to get those in the future if for like maybe major sub alerts just so that your viewers can see something special when they subscribe but for basic follow alerts and rate alerts something like this is awesome so let's quickly export this and when you export it you want to make sure you turn off your black or your gray background or delete it so you have this transparent layer and you want to make sure you save it as a PNG out of Photoshop you can't save it as a JPEG because then you do not get the transparent background but we'll go over that here in a minute so save it out as a PNG just like this and then we're gonna head into Streamlabs and I'm gonna show you how you can add some awesome animation to it all right, guys, so here we are inside of Streamlabs. I just opened up the alert box and we are in the media gallery here. So what you want to do is you want to come down here to where you have your image and you want to hit change image. Usually this is a GIF by default of some sort. Um, you just want to hit change media and then you can drag and drop or click here and upload the, the exported box that you just had. So you see I've got mine here and right here you'll see I actually have my old animated alert. So you can see you can make animated stuff like this using GIFs, really simple. And we'll cover stuff like that in a later video, but we just want to grab this static one hit select and you see you've got it right here ready to go inside so now we're going to go over some of the basic settings to make this alert look awesome so the first thing you want to do is come up here to the layout and make sure that you set the text to be over your image obviously you created this alert box here specifically for text to be inside of it so make sure you set the text to be over it this middle one right here the next big thing the big big thing is this alert animation this is how it's going to come in and how it's going to go out and this is what's going to make it look like you have an awesome animated alert a really simple animated alert so right now I have it set to zoom in and zoom out for my follow. So I have the alert box set up. So if I test the follow, you'll see what I mean. So you see how it zooms in really awesomely, shows the name, shows the follow the channel, and then it zooms right out. It's super simple, but it looks awesome and a lot more professional than just having a GIF pop up with just a name and just follow the channel underneath it. It looks a lot more professional. And if you do like a host, like if I test my host, you'll see how it comes in. All special and you can have it animated in, in a bunch of different ways um, to so no matter what somebody does if they subscribe they follow they host they rate if they give you bits whatever you want you can have it animate in in a different way to make it look like you have custom alerts for each one so you'll see you have so many choices to whatever you want it to be so let's do bounce in so there you go you see it comes in it bounces in and it then it's gonna bounce out downwards just like that. So see, it looks like you have an awesome custom animated alert with how it comes in and animates in, but it's literally just a box that you designed in Photoshop in seconds or a box that you downloaded from the link in the description of this video. And it's much better than just having a GIF with some, some text underneath it. It looks way more professional and it takes no time at all. The next thing you wanna look into though is changing the message that comes up. So if you use the default one, it might not look as good. So what you wanna do is you wanna have the name between these two little, they're not parentheses, they're the, uh, the fancy looking parentheses, I don't know the name of them, but you have the name here and that's gonna be the name of whoever followed or subscribed. Then you've got this weird line of code thing here. I'm not sure what these things are called, but this thing in and then lowercase br and that thing out, that is a line break. So anytime, since our text box is tall as well as wide, you can have a separate line. And if you wanna have a line break, that's how you add it. So it's gonna be the name on one layer or one line and then the rest of the message on the other one. And that's how you do it right there as you add that little BR thing right there and then followed the channel. So you see when I hit test, it'll be the name and then below it, follow the channel. That's what that little line break does. Then another big thing you wanna do, the final thing is you want to open up the font settings down here and make sure that you select a font that you like. Do not use the default font, it'll look really bad. To be honest, people can spot the default font of Streamlabs from a mile away, so make sure you're changing it. I found a font here called Bangers that looks very similar to the Bravity M font, so that's why I'm using that. You wanna make sure you play around with the font size and the font weight to where it fits inside of your box specifically. And then I do not use a text highlight color. That would highlight like the name or highlight followed or whatever in a different color. I leave it all white because it looks really nice in the box, just having it all one color like that. As you guys can see, I hope you agree. But that is pretty much it. It's super easy to create a static box inside of Photoshop and bring it in to Streamlabs and just change a couple of settings, have it animate in, put the text over the top of it, change the text font, and it looks like you have spent a lot of time creating some awesome custom alerts, and it looks so much better than just having a GIF with some text under it, and I think you guys agree. But if you want to download the box in the description, I'm gonna show you quickly how you can go in and change the settings. So guys, when you open up the Photoshop document that is in the description of this video, you're gonna get
get something that looks like this. You got the gray background and then you've got the box and you've got the corners. If you do not like the corners, if you just want the box, you can hide them here and export it just like that or delete them. But if you want to change the color of the corners, you just want to come over here. It's called corner copy three. You just want to click it and you just want to go to the where it says cover color overlay and it's checked and you can change this box to be whatever you want. So if you want green, if your channel colors are green, change it there and you got all four of your corners green. Then where it says rectangle one, you want to come in here. You want to double click that. You can change the stroke to be whatever you want. So let's say a nice orange. Somebody wants an orange stroke and then come over here to the gradient overlay and you can change this gradient to be whatever you want. And the way you change the gradient is you want to come down here and on these two colors down here, you can change them to be whatever you want. So let's say a nice green to a nice hmm, blue, just like that. So a green to blue, then we're gonna double click here again, go to the gradient, hit the drop down, and there's your green to blue gradient right there. You can mess around with the angle to be whatever you want, but there you go. You got a completely redesigned alert box to be whatever color you want. And then when you're ready to export, you just wanna make sure you hide or delete this gray rectangle layer. You wanna go up to file, save as and then you want to name it whatever you want right here so alert box and then where it says photoshop down here you want to hit this drop down and you want to save it as a png just like that dot png and that's how you're gonna have the transparent background you can't save it as a photoshop file because streamlabs can't read the photoshop file you can't save it as a jpeg because then it'll put a black background behind it you won't have the transparent layer so name it whatever you want save it as alert box png or you can name it whatever you want and then you have it to bring in it to Streamlabs. but that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i took away a bit of the fear of doing your own custom alerts it's really not that hard you don't have to spend a ton of time buying animated alerts or learning how to animate your own alerts and creating gifts and finding out who can host your alerts it's just it's just a crazy world alerts are but you can get into it really easy just by creating an awesome static alert box like this and adding some animation to it inside of Streamlabs, and that'll take you a long way with your streaming career you don't need to spend a lot of money to get started on streaming don't spend all your money on your graphics right away just uh, make something like this add some animation to it in Streamlabs, and that'll last you a long time and if you don't want to make something like this inside of photoshop yourself make sure you go down in the description and download the uh the alert box that i created for you here today but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out